Hey YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. I'm in Hollywood, California, and I found a pet store. Yo's Aquarium. Let's go inside and take a look. Well, the birds were uh, something I hadn't seen in a uh, tropical fish store before, but uh, I get it. They were kind of cute. A few parakeets right across from the uh, the betta display display shelves there in their cups, the way they're displayed in a lot of places. They had a, a nice selection of supplies, and uh, the first thing you run into are some saltwater tanks with some live rock and uh, a variety of, uh, of colorful and interesting things. I have no idea what that is, probably some type of uh, an enemy. Definitely looked alive and very colorful. This fish was very pretty. Looks a little bit like a lionfish. Love the way he uh, just sort of drifts around with those very unusually shaped uh, fins. The colors and shapes on these saltwater fish as you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of cichlids and tropical fish just in general, but you really can't beat the shapes and colors and patterns of saltwater fish. It's like a type of shark here, banded shark. Very, very pretty. I wonder if they have teeth. Look at this guy. It's a saltwater aquarium outlet that uses that fish as its logo very pretty shapes and patterns. This is what glowfish are supposed to look like, except ungenetically modified. Look at the fins and color on that guy. Very, very pretty. Boy, that's kind of scary, huh? I've actually seen some of these in person when I've been snorkeling. Very, very pretty. I think they tend to leave people alone if you leave them alone. I do believe they have teeth. Very pretty colors. The yellow on that guy. Again, you know, I love the colors and shapes of cichlids, but you just can't beat salt water. Look at the fin display on this guy. The yellow tail. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the mug on that guy. Looks like a dog. It looks like a trigger fish. Some kind of a coral eater. Again, the shapes, very, very unusual. Definitely a, uh, a type of tank I'd like to get into at some point. Another eel here for about 20 bucks. I've seen and, and, and heard that these actually can get out of the tank. They can actually just push their bodies entirely out of the tank. I'd like to have that jump at you as you walk by your, uh, your main tank, have an eel come out and take a, take a bite out of your ear. This guy looks real thin, huh? Looks healthy, though. Doesn't seem to be in any kind of dis distress. Look at the dorsal fin on this one. Where it trails behind. Very, very pretty. Look at the face on that guy. Nice colors. What a mug. The way the lighting was in this store was a bit distracting. He had neon lights uh, down the middle of each aisle, which would reflect into the tanks. A little bit distracting for filming. Because I, uh, I stopped the car and asked my poor wife just to uh, uh, wait in the car while I <laughs> went into the shop, all I had on me was my phone and uh, to film with. It doesn't really capture the, the beauty of these corals. You have some soft coral, hard coral, and a little turtle there. Really cute. Not sure if I've seen a black arowana before. Four hundred dollars. Wow. It looks like he's got a little bit of orange in the body. An orange fringe on the fin and some black. Very very pretty. Not the most expensive arowana. I saw one on the on YouTube for ten thousand dollars. A red one. Very very rare, I guess. a knife fish. Some of the tanks were lit 
primarily in red, and I'm not sure why uh, that kind of lighting was being used, but it would really, uh, it, it doesn't really show the beauty of the fish. It's a ghost. Love the way they, uh, they get into those clear tubes and just sort of hang out there. Obviously, they like to be in a real tight, kind of a snug situation. He's not going to get in now because I mentioned it. There you go. One of them just went in there on the right. Very cute. He had a selection of discus, and again, because of the lighting, they, they look mostly red, but he's got ones with patterns. He's got some that are blue. And, of course, he does have some red ones in there. But the lighting uh, gives everything sort of a red glow. Nice selection of guppies, along with some plants. The plants in this tank look a little bit chewed up. He had some better-looking ones in another tank I'll show you in a second. These guys I thought were very pretty. The markings on the body, their uh, activity level, the overall body shape, very, very nice. Some fire mouths for around 10 bucks. Good looking fish. Can get pretty big and hearty. Green, green terror, green Texas. Again, getting into your uh, Central and South American cichlids. Very pretty. 15 bucks for an archer. Again, look at the markings and shape of the body. Very pretty fish. These are the ones that I think can shoot out a stream of water and hit hit something that's outside the outside of their you know, out of the water and like, like a fly and knock it down. These parrotfish, they look like uh, their eyes are, look like those toys where the eyes are just sort of loose with something black in the middle that just sort of rolls around. <laughs> like crazy eyes. These green terrors for five dollars each were actually, believe it or not, these were actually my favorite fish in the whole shop. Love the markings on the body, the shape, and that beautiful, um, you know, red-orange fringe at the end of the tail. Beautiful fish. These are also very, very impressive. Rubens. Not familiar with this fish. I've heard about them a lot, but I'm not really that familiar with them. These look prehistoric to me, like something out of uh, a different age, especially in the uh, albino variety. Almost look like something that could come walking out of the tank. There's a more of a smaller size arowana for around 40 bucks. Don't think it's the black variety, just your straight silver arowana still very pretty gotta watch out they're big time jumpers rose lines these are very i really like the rose lines a torpedo shape Look like they, maybe they school i'm not entirely sure i'd have to see them in a larger tank good variety of angels certainly if you're on a budget an angel is a great fish to start with and these yo-yo loaches love these for about three you know three four bucks if I wasn't moving uh, in the near future, I would have picked up half a dozen of these. Love these yo-yos. He had no uh, shortage of goldfish. He didn't disappoint in that area. Good selection, good variety. With a red cap on that one. Love the ones with uh, three colors. You know, your your orange and white and black. I think those are very very pretty. Had some gr gray and maybe uh, going into blue type varieties as well. Very very pretty. Some smaller koi for about 50 bucks. Very hardy fish. These are great, of course, for ponds. And again, some of the ones with the black. He even had a gold one in there. That would be very impressive once it puts on that size. Look at that black and white spotted one in there. Very, very nice. Last year, a long time. He had some African cichlids. And like you'll see in a lot of shops, just sort of bundled together. That one has a nice blaze there on the upper left. Mabunas and peacocks, kind of a uh, just a full mix. A lot of OBs. These would be good for, let's say, if you had a tank, maybe a 40 to 60 gallon. You're just getting into cichlids. 
picking up some of these wouldn't be a bad idea just to get started. A little bit larger, you can get into peacocks for about 10 bucks. But again, you're probably going to end up, the, these look to me like they're probably some hybrids. Looks like a little bit of a red shoulder there. Maybe some electric blue. But, you know, five to ten bucks, not too bad. Some good colors. Not a bad way to start if you're getting into cichlids for the first time. Not sure what's up with these fish. They look like, like fish that ran into something really hard. <laughs> Never got straightened out. Uh, if you love them, I hope I didn't insult you. Some platies, some live bears. You got also, uh, you know, your, uh, you get into your molly varieties and your uh, platies, live bears, neons. It's not a bad price, you know, for a buck, a little over a buck fifty. You can get 10 of these for 15 bucks. Add a lot of movement and color to your tank. Some more discus. Again, you can see some of them have some of them have very nice patterns. A little hard to decipher under this kind of a lighting. And this one is was this isn't just the phone. This is just he had some sort of red lighting in the tanks. But these were uh, not a bad size. Not a bad price. Less expensive than if you were, let's say, ordering them online and paying for the shipping. Certainly no, no lack of red in this shop. Boy, these guys are like an electric orange red. Good selection of clown loaches, some of my favorite fish. Again, look very, very healthy, very active. Very nice karamis. Pick up some of these, a few neons, you'd be uh, all set for relatively inexpensively. Some tiger barbs. I really like tiger barbs. They can be a little nippy, so you got to watch out with them. Like some silver dollars. The pretty fish huh, with the flowing fin. He was really proud of his glowfish collection. He said he had every color available. Eight bucks for a tiger Oscar. I really love the patterns on Tiger Oscars. Very, very pretty. And he had a tank that was just marked pink peacocks. I see some fish in here that are not peacocks, including, including some frontosa. This was uh, his better plant selection. Not bad. I wouldn't uh, hesitate to recommend that you stop by if you're in Hollywood. Check out Yo's. I like the fish. A lot of variety, more variety than I expected in a shop that size. And while you're there, you can even pick up a turtle or a bird. <laughs> but all kidding aside, I would give the shop, let's say, uh, oh, I say about an 8 out of 10. And I didn't, I didn't give him a 10 only because of the lighting and because I would have preferred to see cichlids in their own separate tanks, uh, you know, marked. But that's, you know, that that's more the exception, really, when you consider what I run into on a regular basis. But definitely support your local fish store. Check them out.